Render is one of the hottest AI altcoins on the market right now, up nearly 1,800% from its bear market lows at 40 cents, and it has just printed a new all-time high here on the weekly charts. There is still plenty of catalysts coming up for this altcoin as Jules Erbach, CEO, is set to speak at an upcoming NVIDIA AI conference. And additionally, some very interesting charts lining up Render and Inge, another big altcoin winner from the bull run so far, makes it appear as if this coin may want to find itself in the double-digit territory in the near future. You can expect to hear about all of this and more in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder, that I am not a financial advisor. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting that sub and like button and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when all of our latest videos go live on the channel. So we're going to hop right into today's video. There is plenty of stuff to get through when it comes to this token. And uh, we've been talking about Render a lot on the channel, you know, throughout this bull run. It seems like basically every time we talk about this coin, the price is higher than it was the previous time. You can pretty much see here, right? Like even on a one year chart, there have been some periods of consolidation, even some, you know, 50 ish percent declines. However, this thing has really been in a steady uptrend. And if you take a look at its performance from the bottom, you know, up almost 1,800 percent from that 40 cent area. And uh, yeah, it does look like to me anyways, that this thing does want to continue running, especially with the news based catalysts that are coming up for this project. And then we'll get into some of the interesting comparisons near the tail end of this video. So for starters, we did see the Render Network official Twitter page actually tweet here. Let's take a second to get up to speed on all things community from the Render Network. And the big one for me here is they are highlighting the that there's three weeks until NVIDIA GTC 2024. Now, this is basically their big conference. And, I, you know, I think everyone knows that the biggest topic of discussion this year is, in fact, going to be AI. Now, to my knowledge, Jules, Erbach, who is the CEO of Otoy, the parent company of Render, is the only speaker at this conference who is representing a crypto AI project. And considering how many eyes are going to be on NVIDIA and on this conference, considering how many eyes are on crypto right now, I think this sets up Render as a very interesting play moving forward and definitely could turn a lot of heads in traditional finance. I mean, take a look at NVIDIA here, right? Like going from a market cap a year ago, I think it was it was in like the 200 to 300 billions and now at 1.98 trillion in terms of market cap. So that is absolutely massive. It has been the biggest story on Wall Street. We know a bunch of them are most likely going to be tuned in and listening to what is happening here at this uh, NVIDIA GTC. So I think it's really good that Jules Erbach is going to be one of, if not the only, uh, once again, to my knowledge, you know, sort of like crypto native person at this conference who does actually have a coin in the AI sector. So for a little bit of clarity on what exactly Render does, I do want to go ahead and actually pull up the website here because I think there are some misconceptions about what this altcoin is as they have very quickly pivoted into AI technology moving away from simply just rendering, which was the initial use case. So the render network is the first decentralized GPU rendering platform, according to the website. And basically it is built to provide a platform for a wide array of computation tasks through a, a blockchain marketplace for idle GPU compute. So effectively people who have idle GPUs are able to contribute their GPU power to the render network. And then they're actually paid in render tokens for contributing that uh, that idle GPU power. So really interesting concept. And in its early phases, it was mostly concerned with, you know, rendering artwork for, uh, you know, next gen 3D content for spatial content. And with the release of the Apple Vision Pro, that actually was a pretty big narrative for the coin. We did also see, you know, on the on the day that the Apple Vision Pro launched, we did see some uh, some spatial, you know, areas, some spatial rendering content that was actually created using the render network. 
However, this altcoin has swiftly pivoted into AI and they figured if they're going to offer, you know, this idle GPU power for rendering, why not also offer this idle GPU power for AI use cases? So some people might be unaware that Render Network has four AI compute clients as partners for GPU power, and that is IONet Official, Beam Cloud, uh, FedML AI, and Nosana CI. The Render Network will be servicing many different types of AI use cases, and all of these partners are doing something unique and groundbreaking according to this post. So for example, FedML is issuing a technique called federated learning. This is a machine learning approach that allows multiple parties to collaboratively train machine learning models on their local data without sharing the data itself. And Intel and Microsoft were contributors to the development of FedML. Uh, the demand for compute is going to rise exponentially over the coming years. This is something I absolutely agree with. I really don't think that demand will be an issue. I do believe that compute power is going to experience an exponential growth phase as AI does uh, really kind of take off. I think that the supply is going to be the big constrainer here. And uh, this is, you know, somewhere where the render network most certainly helps by offering up their decentralized GPU, uh, basically idle GPU compute. So... <clears throat> Supply is going to be a big thing here for that GPU power, and that is exactly what Render offers. And now, even some big traditional finance players did actually catch on to kind of this pivot, including Vanek. So this was actually their recent article on AI cryptocurrencies, and this is what they had to say. Render, who recently migrated to Solana, was initially focused on connecting artists to decentralized groups that would provide a GPU power to render images and videos. However, Render has begun to focus its decentralized GPU fleet on satisfying machine learning workloads to support deep learning models. Through network improvement proposal RNP004, Render now has an API to connect external links like io.net that will utilize Render's network of GPUs for machine learning. Subsequent proposals by the Render community were passed to allow its GPUs to be accessed through Beam and FedML to fulfill machine learning tasks. As such, Render has become a decentralized facilitator of GPU workloads coordinated by Render payments to providers and Render incentives to entities running the network's back-end infrastructure. So really crucial here that pivot into AI at a moment where, you know, this basically is the big theme of the market. And I think that, you know, some people are potentially still looking at this as simply a rendering token you know for for content creation and render is you know very quickly pivoting into ai which i mean once again it's been the big narrative in the stock market the argument could be made that the launch of chat gpt and the ai narrative have definitely helped propel the market i think nvidia is a clear example of that so render sits at, you know, sits, basically sits on top of this very powerful narrative, not to mention an additional narrative, which is the Bitcoin having coming up in 53 days. Uh, another narrative that, you know, generally is or another catalyst that generally speaking is really good for crypto. So, you know, render just sitting at, right in the center of a lot of these different important catalysts. And despite the impressive price action, uh, I do believe that, you know, this does have room to continue. Now, you know, you might look at this chart and I do hear this quite a bit where people think buying a coin on a breakout above all time highs is a bearish thing to do. And, you know, the truth is buying breakouts of all time highs do actually tend to be pretty bullish, at least in the short term, you know, longer term, it is up to the project to continue with the fundamentals to continue developing. But generally speaking, when you do see a coin break all time highs, that causes a ton of FOMO to flood into the market, which can, you know, basically see things escalating very quickly and this chart right here is a pretty clean example of that so i want to look at inch first okay inch was a coin that peaked at about 26 dollars back in 2021 we can see here this coin was basically in between like the one to two dollar range going into the bull market maybe even below that at one point 
And yeah, you can basically see here that it ran up to about $10, stalled out a bit, and then boom, made another run to the upside. And what you're going to notice is that once it actually broke above those previous all-time highs at about $25, this coin very quickly shot up to $45, and now is actually consolidating well above that all-time high. Now, even if Inge did want to actually make a back test of that previous all time high, that would still be a bullish look, in my opinion, you know, basically validating uh, what once was resistance into an area of support. But uh, it hasn't even done that yet. It has, you know, basically just stayed above those all time highs since breaching them. Now, if we take a look at the render chart compared to Inge, it does look very, very similar here. I believe this is on a, on a weekly, if I'm not mistaken. This is probably on a weekly if we're going back to 2021. And yeah, this does look very similar, okay? And this chart was actually published when Render was sitting at about the $5.5 mark. And, you know, even I was saying in previous videos, if you do want to go back and check them out, that as soon as Render broke above this area of resistance here at about $5.30, it really looked to me like there was, you know, clear skies ahead for this altcoin, that there was not too much resistance before this thing made its way back up to those all-time highs. And, you know, on that breakout above the $5.30 range, more or less, this coin has already rallied in an additional 40%. So... Uh, definitely super interesting price action here from Render. And, you know, to me, it does look like it wants to make a run for those all time highs in the high $8 range, especially if we do see continued bullish momentum behind AI centered stocks and crypto moving into the halving. So I do want to take a look at the chart to wrap things up. And the one thing that I do want to kind of mention when it comes to Render here is that if we were to see some sort of broader market pullback, and I do want to talk about the the downside scenario as well. I think, you know, regardless of how bullish the market is, you should always be prepared for both scenarios. So the downside scenario that I would be targeting here is, is just simply, honestly, a, a retest of this area of support at about $5.30 more or less. You know, personally, based on the momentum right now, I do think the upside move is much more likely. However, if we were to see something a little similar to this, if we were to see something similar to this, like a back test there of that prior area of, of uh, you know, resistance, and then a continuation of that move to the upside, that would still be a pretty good look in my opinion. You know, longer term, it would not look bearish at all. Uh, however, what we could see is just a continued movement to the upside there and, you know, a break above that $8.73 zone and we are basically in price discovery mode. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens when it does come to the render USD chart. Now, one thing I do also want to look at is the render versus Bitcoin chart. And uh, I, I do like to compare all my altcoins to Bitcoin, just, just kind of based on the simple premise that, you know, with the altcoin market, you take on a lot more risk. So if your altcoin is not even outperforming Bitcoin, I mean, you're taking on more risk for less reward. It's just simply not worth it. And you would have been better off just holding Bitcoin. And that has been the case for a majority of altcoins throughout this, you know, throughout the bull run that we've seen so far. A lot of it has been focused on Bitcoin, the ETFs, the halving. However, render, uh, render definitely is an exception to that. Okay, if we even take a look at this uh, on a percent scale, and then take a look at you know since the beginning of 2023, render has outperformed Bitcoin by 400 percent. And if we zoom out even more, I believe Render is actually also close to its all-time high on its Bitcoin pair. Yeah, so it actually did break above its all-time high, kind of got kind of got rejected there, and is on its way back to the downside. But you know, we're talking about an altcoin right now that is approaching its all-time high versus the US dollar, approaching its all-time high versus Bitcoin with the bullish catalysts and narratives coming up. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of reasons why I do believe that this coin is going to be a big winner of the upcoming board. It already has been, but I do think that it will continue to be one of the strongest performers. Uh, I'm still a pretty firm believer in the fact that we are not really even in like the big alt season yet. The halving hasn't occurred yet. If we take a look at total three, I mean, it does look good. This is the, uh, the crypto market minus Bitcoin and ETH. So really just the altcoin market. And if you take a look at this, I mean, we can basically see here that we are still well off those all-time highs near 1.13 trillion, uh, trillion, down about 50% from that level, more or less. So 
yeah, Render definitely is one that I do believe is going to be one of the biggest winners. That's why we do cover it on the channel. And as always, I will keep you guys updated on the latest news and price action with this project. So on that note, I hope you did enjoy the content in today's video. I hope you are all staying happy, safe, and healthy. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out for now.